Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Stroke. And I'm Susan Shaw. Thank you for joining us. First at 6 o'clock, it's a major break in a 27-year-old murder case. Ottawa County detectives finally putting a name and a face to a murder victim only known before as Matilda. Our target aid investigators have followed this case for years. Jacqueline Francis spoke with the victim's family today about their search for justice and closure. Brian and Sue, instead of calling her Jane Doe, detectives have spent the last 27 years referring to the victim as Matilda. But with the help of genealogy testing, we now know her real name and are hearing from her family tonight. After decades of only being known as Matilda, the Ottawa County cold case victim finally has a name. This is Shelley Ray Christian. She was 29 years old when she disappeared from Minnesota. A year later in 1994, rabbit hunters found her remains in a ditch between Coopersville and Marne, a mystery that's haunted neighbors ever since. So that's, I can remember that night, it was just hard to get sleep because we, we lived back in the rural country here. We didn't think anything like this was going to be back here. Without a name, the case went cold. Then the story kind of went away. Back home in Minnesota, Shelly's sister never stopped looking for her. You always maybe hold out just, you know, a little tiny hope um, that maybe something happened and they are alive. But, you know, deep down in my heart, I've known since 1994 that she had passed. With the help of genealogy testing, Ottawa County cold case detectives matched the remains to Shelly. Throughout all these years and all the heartaches and, you know, looking through countless pictures of unidentified deceased people. Here in Ottawa County, detectives have been doing the same search for decades. I'm relieved that we're able to provide this closure for the family. I'm re relieved that we don't have to call her uh, Matilda anymore. We can um, call her by name. The team of cold case detectives seeing it as a major break as the search for her killer continues. The main challenge in not having a name um, is not being able to, to trace back um, her steps, um, find out where she was last known to be, um, and kind of what her path was from there. Shelley's family now one step closer to getting justice and closure. My goal in all of this was to just bring her home and lay her to rest. My number one goal throughout this whole process is I wanted, I wanted her identity to have an identity, you know, to people can go and, and, you know, talk to her and, you know, a place for her to be. You know. Shelly's sister still doesn't know what brought her to Grand Rapids. Anyone with any information about her or her time in West Michigan should call the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office or Silent Observer.